Thank you for visiting Digital Crack. This is Mario with uh, another uh, overview, I guess, of a new flashlight, as you can probably see with the title. This is a Zebra Light uh, SC600W Mark IV High. Okay, so this light is a smaller light, probably the smallest light that I've ever uh, purchased for myself. Uh, last time we left off, we were talking about lights such as the PD35. Uh, we were talking about lights such as the Through Night uh, TN12, and of course we were talking about um, the Nikkor. Um, unfortunately, um, sad to say, but my Nikkor unfortunately is not going to make it. <laughs> um, they did send in um, the tail cap, uh, the new tail cap, and the switch still does not work. Actually, it works um, actually less uh, frequent than the uh, previous one um, so it is definitely going back sadly sadly to say it's actually my first night court night that uh, light that uh, actually did not work out for me so moving on um the pd if uh just for a small review the pd35 amazing light definitely it's it's garnered a lot of attention a lot of praise for good reason it is a it is a dependable light that you can count on uh, this light you know the simple mouth uh the simple functions that it actually goes through and the um interface and everything it never fails basically every single time i hit that light it cuts on every time i change the mode it it cuts on you think that that's a you know a simple thing but you'd be surprised at how many lights are so complicated and overly complicated that the functions don't work as advertised or they are not consistent in their operations such as like the clock Claris um, 11 GT, I believe. This one, um, the mode button does not work all the time. Uh, sometimes when I click it, it doesn't actually cut on um, on the mode it's supposed to cut on. Sometimes it doesn't cut on at all. I mean, it's one of those things that, you know, I'm sure there's some Clarises out there. Uh, the 11 GT, I'm sure there's some that do work. Mine specifically doesn't. And not only does this one not work, but the, the other one, the XT2C, I believe, CR or something like that. Um, the smaller, you know, um, smaller version of this light that uh, is more aligned with the cigar shapes as uh, sh cigar shaped lights like the PD35. It has the same malfunction with the tail switch. So it's like, yeah, these these lights give you different options and stuff, um, and give you more uh, modes and everything, um, but they don't work, and uh, or they don't work consistently. So. Um, where we ended up was that the through night TN12 um, ended up being the top choice so far for my everyday carry and um, I, I love the function it is a simple function fun um, and it has a uh, the tint that I like uh, with the neutral white and and it's you know extended out so that I can actually use it to hook hook on some defender's hand or pull down or or you know brace myself against something that I need to either cause damage to or get away from um, it's long enough that I can strike and um, and strong enough that it can resist those strikes so um, this is definitely a great light uh, I have no um, no complaints whatsoever about the TN12 uh, 2016 model um, this brings us to this version I've never had an actual small light, and I've been seeing all the little forums that people are talking about um, competitors such as the um, MSR D4. Everybody's screaming about the 4000 lumen monster that's small like this light. And then, of course, everybody talks about Zebra brand itself as the number one um, flashlight brand for smaller EDC lights. Um, so. I've had the, I think, the MH20, uh, my Nikkor. It's probably the closest small, uh, closest light that I've ever had uh, that could probably fit into this category, but this is still smaller than that. And um, when you open up the box, you are presented with this. Uh, it's very eco-friendly, um, uh, similar to that of the Through Night. Uh, not too much to give you or offer you. It does give you a, a, a manual um, that kind of gives you some brief descriptions of some of the um, different operations and advanced modes. Um, the um, 
saddening, saddening part is that the warranty seems to only be a, a one one uh, year warranty, uh, which is kind of crazy. Um, the zebra lights are so highly talked about on Kendall Kendall Power um, Forums dot com. Um, they they are crazy about these lights, and you know that's what made me want to buy because I like hearing people talk about this this particular light, and they make so many different variations of this of this light and this brand. Um, that I, I had to um, see for myself what the, all the, the hoobla was about. But it's kind of disappointing to see that it's only a one-year warranty. Um, this is the light. It um, comes in this uh, grayish, um, grayish chrome um, combination. They don't make any other colors, um, I'm told. Uh, this is the best you're going to get as far as the color variation. So if you don't like this grayish color with a hint of into chrome top and the the t and the um, side switch um, if you don't like that type of um, formation of colors then you might want to stay far away from zebra lights I think <laughs> so uh, inside the box I'm told you have a belt clip so let's see yep you do and you have some o-rings of course I always leave those in the box I normally don't ever need them um, as far as the box goes, that's all you get. Nothing's on the side or bottom or top. It's very basic. Uh, let's see. So with my tail cap, I normally I love putting my tail cap toward the power button uh, so that I always know where the power button is at night or in the movie theaters or whenever I use it and pick it up. I don't have to look down at the light. I already know where the power button is located. Um, the... Um, also has, uh, I, don't, I guess, an attached key ring, which is kind of strange. Um, I guess I, I just wouldn't carry this on a key ring, on a keychain rather. Um, but to each his own. I guess you could use it as a, a lanyard hole. Um, so I, I think that's what I would probably use it for before I use anything else. Um, and also, I was warned that this particular light, being that it's so small and compact, does not take standard batteries. Um, let's see the tail cap it's very well um, placed um, inside you'll see these, um, these five um, connection points which is quite different from all the other uh, lights if you look down inside you can see those same five connection points which shows you know a definite uh, step up in quality um, even more so than any light that I've seen up to this point most lights have springs you know, like this, and then they have those little dots, uh, just in case your your tail cap gets loose and you have to tighten it. I never did understand that. That to me, that's a defect. You should fix that. You should make it so that that you don't have to tighten this. That this never loosens up to put you in a situation where you have to tighten it. So with the zebra light, looks like they've done that. So um, um. This battery is mostly what you find in most uh, 18650 batteries. It's a protected cell battery. And uh, what I'm told is this won't fit. It'll stick up. So let's see. Yep, sure does. Sticks up past the, past the limit marker here. And that means you won't be able to close the top, basically. So what you have to have is um, unprotected cells um, that have buttonless or button top rather um, type of um, formation and because I found that out I went ahead and ordered one uh, ordered two actually and this is what you'll need if you buy this light or buy this brand you need flat top buttons um, top batteries unprotected cells and this is a 3500 um, amp battery milliamp battery rather that I got by Panasonic I believe and as you can see it fits right inside of there no problem whatsoever and uh, I can tell you I really like the quality so far of this light um, just the look of it you know with the chrome accents and even the tail clip I mean the uh, tail clip but the belt clip or pocket clip um, even that is just it's really nice um, I like this this style. It's one of those belt clips that won't you won't have to wrestle with to get it across your pants. It looks like 
uh, and it feels like it doesn't it's not too stiff and it's not too loose it's actually pretty perfect um, inside here you'll see that it has an orange an orange peel uh, type of reflector and um, with orange peel types of reflectors you're going to get you know a clean beam um, one that doesn't actually throw as hard but you'll have a clean beam in and I think most zebra lights have this type of orange peel which is why I kind of went with this particular brand or this particular style is the um, SC600W Mark, Mark IV High version and it is the neutral white um, that I went with because I, I really love neutral tint and um, this particular um, model actually throws I'm told up to 280 meters of throw distance which is amazing dude it's that's more than my through night that throws more than my through night and on top of that my through night is 1100 lumens this is an actual 1400 lumen light 1400 lumens so that's this and has a 0.1 lumen low mode 0.1 um, that's incredible actually um, let's see here the um, I'm sorry, not 0.1, I'm sorry, 0.7 lumen low mode. So that's a little bit higher than the, um, than the low mode on the TN12. I think theirs are at 0.4, so a little bit lower. Um, but nonetheless, this still being this size of a light that can, that can reach uh, 1,400 lumens and 280 you know, uh, meters of distance throw, that's crazy. Um, I've just never seen a light that can do that um, at this size. Um, I've seen lights that are just a little bit bigger than this, like the MH20, that can throw um, for a long distance and throw high, you know, lumens and everything. Um, I think even theirs stop at a thousand. This is at 1400 and still throwing 280 meters. So, um, needless to say, that's impressive. So, the interface is what I'm uh, is where the tricky part comes in now. At the basics of everything, um, I'm told I did, I did some videos, I uh, watched some videos to get me kind of pre prepared. They say if I click this really fast, I'll get the highest mode, so I won't do that. But if I hold it down, I'll get the lowest mode, um, the low mode, which is a 0.7. So if you look at that beam, it's a nice beam. Um, it's definitely defined. You know, it's not like the, um, like the PD-30 that... Um, had very little definition around the hot spot or circle so I'm glad to see that a very good quality beam and if you want to turn off the light you just simply click one time and it pauses for a second then shuts off some people like that certain people don't I think it's pretty cool to have that kind of pause when it cuts off um, they say uh, if I double tap this I should get medium so let's let's try that okay so that's medium and that medium mode um, I think comes in at about um, let's see here 127 lumens I think yep yeah. so 127 lumens on medium um, 0.7 lumens on low and 1400 lumens at high so if I want to click high I'll just tap it once and there you have it there's the 1400 looms so that's that's amazing it's very hot very bright guys um, they say um, to get to the strobe you would do this three times and it would pause and go into strobe which is amazing that's probably one of the best um, strobes I've seen uh, so that's how you get to your strobe now here's the the part where it gets kind of tricky and intimidating for some people I don't feel such intimidation because once you set the light, it's still simple. Now, uh, lights that stay complicated no matter after you set them or not, if they're just always complicated, those are the lights that seem, from my experience, seem to fail a lot. So um, that's pretty simple to me is to hold down and get my low mode. And if I hold down, it should ramp up. One, two, yep, ramps up and down. So that's awesome. That simple interface, I, I really like that. Um, what they say is that this, if I hold down this, 
and it gives me this low mode and a double tap it should give me a different low mode ah and a lower lower mode than what it was previously so here now you could probably I think this is probably the point uh, seven lumens that you'll get so I think the other one I think is higher than the point seven and let's see I think if we double tap again it should go up higher double tap again go down low and they say if that's the one you want it on then you just turn off the power and the next time you hold down the low mode it'll go and memorize that that that's the low that's the specific low mode that you want not the one that you left from so that's awesome you know so you get to really customize even your lows mediums and highs you get to decide on the intensity levels um, of that which is awesome so and the same thing with mediums and same things with uh, with high so if you wanted uh, the medium and you double tap and went to medium and you double tap again it'll go to a different medium which is lower and that's the one you want you blank out of that now when you go twice it'll go back to that same medium mode that it left off so simple interface um, it's just one of those things that can be complicated when you want to change the interface and um, what you know once you change it to what your likings are you really don't have you know a real need to, to keep uh, memor memorizing how to change uh, the different functions and just double tapping on the function while in the function I mean double tapping on a on a light beam or a lumen while you're in that particular lumen intensity to change it up or high just simply double tapping on it you know that's really not that complicated so um, another thing I really like is the weight of this unit it, it's not too heavy but again I, I like things that are not too light this is a good weight you know it's 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 heavy enough to know that it's in, that you have it in your hands and it's light enough to not bother you while it's in your pocket so that's awesome um, let's see another thing that it'll do is that you have multiple mode groups now this is something I don't know how to do so I can't really demo this but what they're told what I'm told is that you have a multiple mode uh, group so you have G5 G6 and G7 G5 sets it to the factory standard so that's what this is all by default um, but you can uh, select a different mode group with five clicks while it's on while it's on off and while G6 and G7 can be selected with six clicks and seven clicks respectively okay so if you want mode G6 and you can set that for whatever you want so each one so if I want to set G5 G5 is what it is by default right now so if I want to set G6 to all low low lumens I can do that and then I can set G7 for all high lumens I can do that and depending on which you know which mo which mode group I'm in will only give me the mode group that I've assigned to it and and customized to it. That's amazing, guys. Again, let's um, look at this by comparison. I mean, all that power and all that all those options and something just you know as small as this light is 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 something to to definitely give a zebra zebra lights uh, kudos on. This is amazing. Um, so it's not going to be something definitely that you can, you know, that you'll take to defend yourself with and striking somebody or using it to, you know, pull down on somebody's hand if they grab you or whatever or to brace yourself on or anything like that. That's not what this light is about. This light is for those people, those EDC carriers that don't care about that don't care about um, striking people with flashlights or hurting people with flashlights or getting the strobe really quick like like I could with the P with the P10 GT this if that's what the, if that's what type of light you like this is not the light for you from that point so um, this is more or less you know again the, the little um, EDC carrying light that you can attach to the short to your shorts and go play basketball with I mean this that's the type of light this is you know something um, sturdy enough and small enough that it won't get in the way of things um, you won't even know it's on you really 
Um, it's not going to take too much space. It's not going to flop around in your on your you know in your in your pants pocket or whatever as you run up and down the hall or whatever. Um, but like this would you know something similar to this. But this has its purpose, and this has its purpose, and they don't have to do each other's job in order to be great at what each one does. So um, for right now, that's all I have. Um, on this overview, I will be uh, doing some beam shots later on tonight and uh, testing out um, just how high it, you know high and high the beam actually uh, floods, or how much it floods rather, versus how uh, far far it actually um, goes the distance in um, in its um, meters, and uh, I'll compare it definitely uh, with the TN12 and see who comes out on top, but. For right now, welcome, uh, welcome this light to the family. This is definitely a good purchase and a good pickup, guys. I'm very, very much impressed with uh, Zebra Lights, and I look forward to um, spending time with it going forward. Thank you.